Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do part two of this page here that we are working on in this book here by Hannah Carlson. And we're going to work on that little froggy today. Thought we'd get him taken care of. So we're going to do the same thing we did uh, yesterday. We're going to take the pale yellow and we're going to color him <laughs> as a base coat. Probably all in the little green areas. I'm going to do his little tum tum in pink. Very pale color. He's just so cute. <laughs> we'll do a little under there. Okay, make sure we got that all covered. Um, he's adorable. I'm going to take um, my eraser here and we're going to try to get a little more red out of these little um, warts. I don't know what they are. Little bumps on our little trot. Make sure we have no color on that. Which I do. For some reason. There we go. Okay, we're going to try... Get it out of the hat too. Okay. And then we'll just go over those with the pale yellow too. Okay, we have a bunch of colors here in green. So we're gonna start off with light olive. Okay, we're gonna also get you down and kind of tilt the camera so the pencils won't get in the way. So we're just gonna start. Adding some color in here, very lightly. And just kind of figure out where we're going to put the color. And like the apple, we're going to put a lot of different coats on here. Really putting these pencils to the test. <laughs> so far they're doing pretty good. Okay, down on his little feet. Okay, there we go. We're going to bring in uh, the olive. And just kind of go over those areas and darken them up a little bit. Not exactly sure what that line is. If that's part of the apple. wonder if it is. Could just make it part of the frog. Hmm. I have to think about that. <laughs> I think it has to be part of the frog. I'm just going to color it in green. Mm. 
because it looks silly if you're sitting up there in the middle of the air. Okay, we're going to bring in a little of the um, greenish gray. Bring that across where the hat is. Okay, then we have the deep greenish gray. <laughs> it's a little bit darker. Turn this a little bit so I can get under his lip a little bit better. up under his eyes a little bit there. Okay, we're going to bring in the pink area for the Tum Tum and that is Sakura. It's a really light pink. Okay, we're going to start down here at this lower part. This is a really pretty light pink. Just a touch of it in some areas. We'll be covering it up with some green, but I want to get some of that pink in there. Okay, then we have light pink. Just going to darken it up down here. Going back in with some green. We're going to take a little emerald green.
just real lightly. Okay, back in with the olive. We're going to get back into the grays. Do, 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 if I can find them. <laughs> I was using them a little bit ago. Olive. Green, gray. Where is the deep? There we go. These two. So we're going to go in first with the greenish gray. Now in with the uh, deep greenish gray. Should we go underneath all our little bumpies? Thank you. 
going to bring in a touch of black. Boom. No, that's not black. Here's black. <laughs> deepen some of the shadows. rub around that a little bit. And we're going to darken up his little nosy there. Going to bring back in the olive. Okay, and then we're going to bring in the pale yellow. Need a tiny bit more pressure with this one and that will be about all we can do in coats. I think I got green in there. It's okay. You'll have the little green speckles going on. back in the pink. Okay, let's do his eyes. They have to be changed for me. So they go this way instead of up and down. So we're just going to put a little
Okay. I'll put some green inside. We'll start off with the light olive. Regular olive. Deep green ish gray. We're going to bring in a tiny bit of brown. I know I have a little brown out here somewhere. Some dark coffee. Just like that. Boom. <laughs> okay, we're going to put some Pasca in his eyes. Take the black and just outline his lips a little bit. So turn the book, come down. Put a few little dots over here. Okay, his dots on his back. No idea. But we're going to start off with the uh, pale yellowish color. And just go over them. Same color in the apple, so we can just blur them in. some warm yellow. And then 
and we'll throw some dark green in there of some sort. Mm, not quite dark enough. Well, we'll go with it. It's um, emerald green. I think he's cute. Let's get going on his hat. Um, hmm. Blue, purple, brown. Well, we don't want to make him too witchy. He is a frog after all. Let's do his um, little leaves here. That's bottle green. Then we'll go in with the um, pale yellow. So far, this is the one I've used the most. <laughs> then we'll go in with the um, olive. bit of the green gray if I could find it again it seems to lose that one all the time yep she used to darken it a touch down in here yellow in that too. Do the star up here. Light orange yellow. Pale yellow. And the ginger yellow. We're going to do the flowers the same way. So we're going to put the pale yellow on them first. Go in with the light orange yellow. And then the ginger. Into his hat. All right, for his hat, we're going to go with the brown colors, and so we're going to base it again with the pale yellow. This just gives me my highlight. You could totally skip this step if you like, but since I am testing out how many layers we can get on these pencils. Might as well start with a base, right? A 
Okay. Then we're going to come in with... Oh, heck, I don't know. Earth Tone. We used that in the apple and up there. So we're going to put a little of that in. Pick one side of the lines that are coming up here and do it on all of them. You can pick the underside or the upper side. <laughs> It's just pouring here today. We went out last night to the grocery store thinking that today is going to be the worst day, so <laughs> we drove home in a downpour. <laughs> and of course, I got myself a new toy and unfortunately it is in the garage it's not really a toy but I got a, um, a treadmill so my knees can get some good exercise like I said the month of November here is really wet and going out for walks in the rain is one thing. Going out and pouring down rain is another. <laughs> but um, we're going to have someone install it and put it together because, well, I have no idea how to do that. And it's really a heavy machine. <laughs> it's got to come upstairs. I'm not going to be able to do that. It weighs um, 280 pounds, so I'm not going to be able to move the darn thing. So it's in our garage waiting for the assembly people to come and put it together. And well, we had a two-car garage, my car's on one side. <laughs> So when they put it in, I had to have them put it in the bay where my husband parks his car. Yeah, it is a huge machine, so basically Dad can't park his car. <laughs> in the garage. Oh, gosh. Dark coffee. So when we got back from the store... We had to unload the car in the rain. <laughs> Not fun. You never know how much you miss your stuff when you uh, have it until you don't have it. is going to be a nice little um, red color that goes in here. Lightly putting it all over. Well, that was interesting. Sorry about that. Power went out for a second. Hold on.
Okay, well, <laughs> some of the power's out, some of the power's on. Interesting. So we're just going to bring that brown over a bit more. Well, my my computer's a touchy piece of equipment. <laughs> power goes out, it'll go out, and in order for a, you know, it's on a power bar, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it says you turned me off the wrong way. Now I have to brown reddish, dark brownish red. I have to unplug it from the power bar and put it into another different plug. Jeez, I've bought power bars to try to fix that problem and it just doesn't. So, I'll have to work on that after I'm done with the little hat. I want to finish the hat. Little dude needs his hat. This will cover up some of that red that we had out there too. Okay, did I get some down in here? Okay. I'm going to bring in a little of that ginger yellow. Okay, back in with the uh, dark coffee. Okay, I'm going to find another brown. Let's see. Bring in some tan. It's just plain old tan. I'm going to turn the 
stuck a little though. Okay, we're going to bring back in the pale yellow. And then back in with, I think I have a gray brown over here. Okay, we're going to just bring in some plain brown first. Okay, uh, the gray. Slate gray. Don't I have a brown gray? Let's see. Yes, we have a dark brownish gray that almost has a purple tone to it, so I do not think I want to use that. Hmm. We'll try. I'm gonna find it though. This might take a while. <laughs> well, lead gray, smoky gray, silver gray, greenies gray. Yep, here we go. Dark brownish gray. Well, let's see what this one turns out to be.
is darkening the edges up. I think that's cute. Okay, we have white here somewhere. We just lighten up this little area here. And there we go. Cute little frog, cute little hat. I may darken this rim up a little bit with the uh, dark brownish gray. Okay, the um, little tie here I'm going to leave alone because I'm not sure what I'm going to do up there on the sword or these little guys down here and I kind of want those three points together. This is going to be brown like the uh, hat. I'm bring in some black in there too. Do, 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 do. Where's black? Just to make sure we've got some dark in here. Just deepen those little wrinkles in there a little bit more. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to end it here. I'm um, going to have to go check the rest of the house for power. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Take care, everyone. Bye now.